Birthday Suit The little boy was running down the street in his birthday suit. Huh, that suit looks just like one my dad had. Yeah, it's a nice one, huh? I yeah. love it. Yeah, let me see the label. Um, There's I... my dad's name, tailored for Paul McGill. That's weird. His name is Bob Burgers. That's my dad's suit. Where'd you get it? A funeral home. What? A funeral home. It's a home for funerals. I'll never forget that toilet. I'll never forget that suit. At least you still got your birthday suit. Yeah, too bad it's wrinkly. Let's get Dad dry cleaned. No, I'll press him. Ah, ah, ah. Huh, that suit looks just like one my dad had. Yeah, it's a nice one, huh? I love it. Yeah, let me see the label. Um, There's I... my dad's name, tailored for Paul McGill. That's weird. His name is Bob Burgers. That's my dad's suit. Where'd you get it? A funeral home. What? A funeral home. It's a home for funerals. I'll never forget that toilet. I'll never forget that suit. At least you still got your birthday suit. Yeah, too bad it's wrinkly. Let's get Dad dry cleaned. No, I'll press him. If you are in your birthday suit, you are not wearing any clothes. Very handsome. <laughs> this is my second favorite suit of yours. Second? Right after your birthday suit. Hey, cut it out. <laughs> I'm practically a married man. I know. You know, you scared me earlier with what your dad said. What? Well, just about the fire, you know, like oh. being a sign we shouldn't get married. It was kind of apocalyptic y. No. You know, and then the sky turned dark. Yeah, because of the fire. Well, and then we had a flood, you know, Sal, sploosh. I think you're stretching just a little bit. Very handsome. <laughs> This is my second favorite suit of yours. Second? Right after your birthday suit. Hey, cut it out. <laughs> I'm practically a married man. I know. You know, you scared me earlier with what your dad said. What? what? Well, just about the fire, you know, like oh. being a sign we shouldn't get married. It was kind of apocalyptic-y. No. You know, and then the sky turned dark. Yeah, because of the fire. Well, and then we had a flood, you know, Sal, sploosh. I think you're stretching just a little bit. I have a recurring nightmare where I'm walking through school in my birthday suit. As kids, we had no problem going swimming together in our birthday suits. The doorbell rang, and here I was in my birthday suit. Morning, Daddy. Morning. Morning, family. Morning. Morning, James. Morning, Miss Poppy. You really must try to get down to breakfast on time, Poppy. It's not fair on the servants. I only want some coffee. I'll bring you a fresh pot, Miss Poppy. Oh, James, be a dear. Get that big brown trunk down from the box room and bring it to my bedroom after breakfast. I'm chucking out a lot of clothes to give to the poor. Yes, Miss Poppy. And look loudly. You don't want to catch me in my birthday suit. Of oh, course not, Miss. <laughs> Daddy. Morning. Morning, family. Morning. Morning, James. Morning, Miss Poppy. You really must try to get down to breakfast on time, Poppy. It's not fair on the servants. I only want some coffee. I'll bring you a fresh pot, Miss Poppy. Oh, James, be a dear. Get that big brown trunk down from the box room and bring it to my bedroom after breakfast. I'm chucking out a lot of clothes to give to the poor. Yes, Miss Poppy. And look loudly. You don't want to catch me in my birthday suit. Of oh, course not, Miss. <laughs> Naked. Not wearing any clothes. It is a beautiful drawing of a naked woman.